You guys, got another one for you. This is a Fathom 40. This is a narrow version, 40 NLD2. If you're familiar with the Fathom models, even the Torque, they all got these power grips. One thing you're able to do is upgrade to the international model power grips. Your Penn Internationals, and they look like this. I got one of these on a 16 and the 12, and I bought this one from Mystic Parts. And I want to see if I was able to do this installation onto this reel how easy it could be. This is like 26 bucks. So let's see if it's worth it. So you're gonna need the pen tool right here. Removing the cap. It's two speed button. And we're gonna remove these carefully. This is a locking pin. And there's a little lock ring spring right here. Just if you remove it, just be careful to not have it shoot away. So I'll put my finger to brace myself on it. These are my pliers right here. There it is, removed. Here we go, that's all. put this in the sequential order. But one thing to note, there's this little dimple right here and that connects to the handle which is on this side and the VIS doesn't have that same one. So what I understood is guys will enlarge in that hole and that would do the trick for it. So I'm gonna find the matching hole for that. Don't know what the actual size is so I'm just gonna try out a couple of drill bits. I might have to work my way up there. That looks like it might be the right size. One eighth. I think that's the one, one eighth. It is a 1 8. Okay. So before I drill it, I'm just going to check how this looks like when we remove this. All right. Just give myself a little leverage. That was actually fairly easy. It's off. So we're gonna just do a quick examination of this, make sure everything aligns correctly. Yeah, I think that's about it. I just needed to enlarge in that hole. So I'm gonna do that right now. So this is the 1 8 right here, but I'm gonna do it in increments before I reach it. So I'm starting off with a 3 32nd, followed by a 7 64, and I'll finish it off with this. Taking it nice and slow. And moving on to the next. 764. A little bit more torque. And one last one, <clears throat> the one eighth.
There we go. You can see both of them. This was a one eighth drill bit. Okay, all nice and clean up. And I just want to show you the mating of it. So this is that dimple on that end from the 40. And this is where we want to put it into. And that's it. We just want to create that seal. It creates like a locking pin. And that's all we needed it for. So let's put it all back together. So one thing I read, so someone was able to bend this 40 bar and I was like, wow, that's pretty impressive, you know? Um, and I'm seeing it right now. Let's check, a, take a look at this. Oh, actually it is right on the, on the dot, four millimeter. And compared to the international, five millimeter. So you have a whole millimeter thickness without the bend. And the reason because the bend is a T bar, but take a look. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind using this still. Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but let's put this one back together. Just wanna make sure I match the orientation of everything that I have. And if you noticed, I actually put in sequential order. So this was the first thing I removed, so on and so on. So I'm just going in reverse. There wasn't a lot of cranking power on this. Uh, sorry, not cranking power, but in tightness of torque. So I'm just gonna match similar to what it was. Here's a pin. We're gonna align that up with this. Tighten it a little bit more just to get it aligned. Okay. There we go. So it slipped right in. You just need the angle of where that locking nut was, and that was it. So now I'm gonna put the lock ring. It's gonna be kind of fun and challenging at the same time. Without it shooting away, right? Here we go, nice and simple, and it's on. Now that we have that on, this locking retainer. And this is very flimsy on the locking retainer, so you gotta be really careful with it. What you wanna do is What I did was <clears throat> I made sure that the top part went in first and counterclockwise while this is lifted so that this can be slightly over this part and once that is you're going to slip this part under this then clockwise again to let this lock behind it and that's it. Two speed button. Final locking ring. Okay. So, just doing a double check. Some free spool, strike, good. Two speed, good. Release, good. What's not to like? Custard, good. Jam, good. Meat, good. That's it. I got myself a 40 with power handle now. 26 bucks. Mystic parts. What more could you ask for? Oh, I got this reel. Someone sold this for 250. I couldn't help but grab it. Pretty good setup for under 300 bucks. This is gonna be just your basic, whatever you wanna do, yo-yo. It's, it's gonna be pretty decent. Thanks guys.